Hi friends, Alaska Crafty Gal Victoria here. So guess what I finished? The baby mobile. I did. And I have a few other finished objects to show you and show you a couple things that I've been working on so far. Um, and just stuff I've completed. So check this out. So the baby mobile. Of course, I showed you some of the pieces, but I'm gonna insert, hopefully it turns out okay, a picture right here of the little, I made these little toadstools, these little mushrooms. And I, I have my notebook. Yeah, I still never did transfer, so this is my official notebook for projects. So I made those little mushrooms right there. Um, and it was from a channel. Um, she also has a website, Happy Berry Crochet. It's just called mini rush mushrooms. So I made two of those. And then I don't remember if I showed you the rabbit or not, but you're gonna see a video in its entirety all put together. But then the, the leaves, I wanted to do vines hanging down, but the tutorial that I had followed when I hung them down, cause so it's a vine like this and a leaf goes that way and a leaf goes that way. But when I hung it down, they all flipped to one side, not the look I was going for. So I did something different and I did, I just did it like that. And um, that is a pattern by Yarn Fantasy. I absolutely love it. She's here on YouTube and it, it just worked out so well. And then I did the um, little daisies. I made a bunch of little daisies and put it around and uh, that pattern is by Christina Crochets here on YouTube. And what else did I add to that? Oh, the squirrel. Oh my gosh, that squirrel. So I needed one more um, animal to balance it out well. And so I made that little squirrel. And that squirrel is by Sharon. And I know I'm going to butcher her last name, so I'm just going to put it right here. Um she's also here on youtube and i absolutely love the items that she crochets she makes the cutest items and her tutorials are super easy to follow absolutely love it she makes all kinds of things so i'm going to link all of these channels down in the drop box in the description box below so if there's anything you see that you're interested in or want to get an idea or see what else these designers have if you haven't checked them out already or haven't heard of them i'm going to put all their channels in the description box below for you. So yeah, I finished the baby mobile. It turned out so much better than I expected. And like I said, um, I'm just gonna, either you've already seen it or I'm going to put it in the little video clip of me taking it. But there it is in its completion. She's not sleeping in her crib yet, so it's full of baby clothes. <laughs> but look at this adorable doll. Her grandma, my son-in-law's mother, Insuk, makes these dolls. How cute is that? Comes with a hat. I did not make these. Insuk made these. Isn't it gorgeous? She makes those gorgeous dolls and she made this really cute wall hanging, little mermaid wall hanging. Insook made that. And then she made this adorable baby blanket, teddy bears and paw prints. I'll show you in a minute. Let me spread it out. Okay. So she made this really adorable baby blanket for Evelyn. She did a beautiful job. Paw prints. It's gorgeous. And then on the back, she put teddy bear fleece or flannel. It's just really cute. Not teddy bear, I'm sorry. I think they're horses, little horses. And it's just adorable. She does beautiful work. 
but that doll I'm in love with. I just wanted to share those with you guys. So I'm really proud of that. I absolutely love it. My stepdaughter absolutely loves it. She said she's obsessed with it. <laughs> so that's a good thing, right? And then what else have I completed? Well, you guys remember that soft chevron blanket I was working on? This one right here, it's done. We were, I have a little, oh my gosh, the dogs are fighting, um, play fighting. We were here somewhere. This is where my stitch marker was. So I was like, maybe to here or or maybe it was this way and I was all the way up to here, don't know. But I finished the baby blanket. In completion, it measures 40 by 40, which is a good size, I think. Look at that. It's all done. All my ends are sewed in. I had so many wispy ends to sew in. It was ridiculous. But it's all done and I just did a super, I started it the way, I ended it the way I started it with two of that row there and then that peach. I just did it like that. And then I just did a super simple one single crochet in peach all the way around the baby blanket. So happy to have another completed item. <clears throat> so finished object number two, got that out of the way. And then my husband and I, we went up to Sam's Club and got a membership to Sam's Club. And uh, let me show you what I found. Okay, so my husband and I went up to Sam's Club and they had the Harry Potter kit, the crochet kit, and you can make all these characters here. Now I know this isn't anything new, it's been out a while, but my stepdaughter is obsessed with Harry Potter, so I got this. And from this, now I know I'm gonna say his name wrong, hold on. Dobby. This is this is the care. I just haven't crocheted his little sock. He was holding onto a little sock in the pattern. But I made Dobby, but I made him with a bigger hook than that comes with. And I used worsted weight yarn instead of the DK yarn that came in the kit. Because A, two reasons. It's really hard for me to use a smaller hook than a than a four just because I can't see very well. And so I just use a four and worsted weight yarn. And he came out a little bigger than expected. So I think I'm saying his name right. Is it Dobby? I think so. So there he is. I had these little green eyes and he just turned out so cute. I love him. I absolutely love him. He was super easy worked up really fast as well. So, and he's bigger than in the book because I used a bigger hook, thicker yarn. So he's done. So I made him, this is her favorite character. Um, one of her favorite characters. So I made him first so that she could have him. But yeah, I'm just gonna work on these when the mood strikes and get this all these 12 characters done. They're adorable. They're absolutely adorable. But that's not all. I also found, oh, I was so excited. So look it, it's Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. So I had to get this. I had to. Flashbacks to my childhood. So you can make all the characters there. I just loved Mr. Rogers growing up. So I got that kit as well. So Sam's Club, guys. So I got those two. And then, what else have I been working on? I have two more completed objects. Um, as you all know, I am working out of this book here. Told you I wanna make all the characters. Well, I made two more. So I'm just gonna go in order and just make them in the order that they are in the book. So the very next one was Pippa the Princess. And 
I made my own version of her, but with brown hair. <laughs> so there's Pippa. And again, I used a four millimeter hook, not the 3.5 or 3.75 they say. So she came out a little bigger, which is perfect for me. I don't mind that at all. So there's Pippa, Pippa the princess. I think she just turned out really, really cute. So there's my version of Pippa. Hello. <laughs> and then I also made the next one in line, which was Old Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster. There it is, Nessie the Loch Ness Monster. And <laughs> there it is. Nessie the Loch Ness Monster. How stinking cute is that? There's old Nessie. So I think that turned out pretty good. I had a lot of fun making it. These are quick and fun makes. But I think it turned out pretty good. What do you guys think? Old Nessie the Loch Ness. Like I said, I love this book because of these limbs. Like you just wrote... You, finish them off. You make them separate, but you don't have to sew them in. You just you flatten them and do three single crochets or four or five or however many it's calling for. And then you crochet them as you're continuing with the, with the figure itself. And then this part, you, uh, the tail, like you leave a hole here and then you crochet that on right onto the stitches. So there's no sewing in. So Old Nessie the Loch Ness Monster is done. <laughs> so I did those two. My whips, as far as my whips go, I have a couple. Um, I've been making more Buki squares. So I'm doing a version of gray, all my scraps, gray and pink. So like this is the top row. That's why I got them clipped together and in the order they go. So I've I've made, I want to do another baby blanket. So I've got one. I've got all four of them here, just different colors. The grays, there's two of each one. And then all the pinks are all different. So I've got row one, row two, <laughs> row three. These ones, the ends are sewn in. So here's row three. And then row four. Yeah, like I said. So I've got these bookie squares made. And speaking of bookie squares, this blanket will be done in no time. Speaking of bookie squares, congratulations to all my winners. I've heard from four people one of them was a duplicate winner. Um, same, the same winner was selected on Anna's Crafty Amore channel. So I told Anna to redraw because we had the same winner. So you know who you are. Crochet and Knitting Addiction with Sherry. She was a duplicate winner. So she won on two different channels. That's why it pays to go to everybody's channel and enter because you just never know. If you don't win on one, your chances are pretty good. You might win on another. So congratulations. I think I'm waiting to hear back from one person. And if I don't hear from that person by the midnight on the 6th Central Standard Time, I will forward Anna all the names of the winners with their contact information and she is responsible for sending the pattern out to you via email. So anyone I haven't heard from, I will not be redrawing. Anna will be redrawing all the duplicates and um, names for, you know, the people that never responded. So I have one more person I'm waiting to hear from. Like I said, if I don't hear from them, it's in Anna's hands. All right. So other than that, what else have I been working on? Well, you guys remember this, right? all my squares. I've been crocheting up loads. I just have to sew in all the ends, but I made a bunch more of these. A bunch. I got to sew in all the wispies. And I just sit and do this when at the moment the, the mood hits or if I'm just uninspired to do something and 
I just want to work on something. I need to be working on something or crocheting or something. I just whip up a bun bunch of these and then, and then maybe at night if I'm sitting watching a movie with my husband or the news or whatever, I will just sew in the wispies at that point. And then I'll get them set up here because I'm going to need a lot. Like I said, this project will take me a long time to complete. I don't know what I was thinking with these teeny tiny little two inch squares. But that's okay. I love it. I'm enjoying it. I'm using up little bits of yarn, scraps, so, and it will eventually turn into something amazing. I also um, started making up a bunch of these tan cream colored ones, just because, just because. So those are all the things I've completed and that I've worked on. I don't think I have anything else to show you other than that little clip of the video of the baby mobile. So I hope you guys like the projects I've shown and the things I've been working on and making and the things I'm going to be making, like the Mr. Rogers Neighborhood and the Harry Potter characters. What else can I tell you? Oh, I've been sewing some more too. I got into the sewing room on the 4th of July weekend. I hope you all had a happy, safe 4th of July. I haven't got a whole lot of sewing done, but... Other than that, guys, that is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for coming by and, and saying hello and checking out what I've been working on today. I'll be making another video real soon because I have something kind of funny to share with you. And uh, yeah, I'll be back with more soon. Until the next video, Alaska Crafty Gal Victoria here. Bye, guys. Bye.